On this world stage, Western allies told President Vladimir Putin he stands alone. The fighting in Ukraine must stop. Members of the United Nations General Assembly condemned Russia's aggression and denounced Putin's nuclear weapons threat. Take your finger away from the nuclear button and never put it back for as long as you live. In a tone of barely contained anger, Ukraine's ambassador compared Putin to Hitler. If he wants to kill himself, he doesn't need to use nuclear arsenal. He has to do what the, same, what, what the guy in, in Berlin did in a bunker in May 1945. Russia's response was a familiar mix of lies and exaggerations, blaming Ukraine. Not long after, Russia's ambassador was informed that a dozen of his UN diplomats are being kicked out of the U.S. In support of Ukraine. Something the White House says has been months in the making. We are beginning the process of expelling 12 intelligence operatives from the Russian mission who had abused their privileges of residency in the United States by engaging in espionage activities. The Biden administration expanded its package of sanctions, now targeting Russia's central bank, specifically taking aim at Putin's so-called rainy day fund, money set aside in anticipation of Western sanctions. Some assets within Russia's central bank are being frozen, a move made in coordination with allies, including Canada and the European Union. Ukraine's president wants additional aid and more, signing an urgent application to join the EU, arguing his country should skip the formal process, which can take years. Despite the circumstances, his push is unlikely to succeed. Other avenues of support will have to do for now. Katie, on top of his push for membership in the EU, President Zelensky now pleading with allies to consider a no-fly zone over Ukraine, but the White House is ruling that out. Yeah, Press Secretary Jen Psaki was asked about a no-fly zone during an interview, and she said, look, it would mean U.S. forces would be used to shoot down Russian aircraft, escalating this crisis even further. She said it is not something the president is interested in doing. We'll hear from Joe Biden directly tomorrow. It is the State of the Union address, and this conflict will hang over every word he has to say. Ian. All right. Katie, thank you.